<laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chanel from Complex Simplicity. Happy Friday. Oh my goodness, thank God today is Friday. Um, I'm glad this work week is like over. I'm ready to definitely dive into the weekend. I'm supposed to be going on an overnight trip with my family, um, and I'm looking forward to that. So after I finish vlogging and blogging and all that jazz, I have to go upstairs and pack a bag because <laughs> I have to leave early in the morning trying to figure out how and what time I'm going to be able to work out before I hit the road. Um, so I live for like weekend getaways. I live for overnight stays. I live for full on vacations. Lord willing, thank God next week, the hubby and I will be leaving the country to have a great vacation. So I'm going to do as much blogging and vlogging, audio recording as I can, because your girl's gonna be MIA for like six days, right? Um, it's funny, so I came home from work today, the rain was like pouring, it was pouring in the tri-state area. Um, I stopped by Target, as I always do, one of my favorite stores, to pick up a few things. And um, I came home, ate a little something, and while, while I was eating, I was watching my girl Issa Rae on YouTube. Sometimes I, I feel so empowered and encouraged when I listen and watch her interviews. Um, and so for some reason I was in the mood to do that this evening, and I just finished watching a few interviews that I had never scene and once again I walked away feeling empowered encouraged um, I love hearing her story her grind um, all of the the work that she did to get to the point of where she is now how she stayed true to herself and learned that that is a very important thing to do when creating art um, and just the process right um, I one thing I've learned this year is as I've always said, when I first started doing this website, I, I had slight vision, but didn't really know what the end all be all goal ultimately was gonna be or what I wanted it to be. And more and more this year, I'm getting a lot more vision, um, which has given me more goals for what I wanna reach for and achieve, right? So this website is actually just a vehicle to get me kind of to where I want to be. I would have never thought in a million years that I would want to dive into like the web series, web webisode kind of moment, or that I would even want to do any kind of like writing for any projects, or you just never know how your creative juices flow. And I think um, for a year and change, being able to speak on my perspective on a lot of topics, being able to share my voice with you all, it really has also helped me to, to see other avenues I can do that in, right? Whether that, as I shared in one of my vlogs yesterday, whether that's wanting to do social experiments, right? Whether that's wanting to develop, you know, um, something that could be, you know, on YouTube or like a web series um, regarding just different things that I've experienced in my life or things that I continue to see and assess, you know? Um, and so once again, I feel so inspired um, and really aside from podcasting and other goals that I do have that I would like to do, I really wanna do this whole social experiment thing. Um, I really want complex simplicity to hit the streets and, and reach out and talk to the people, get their perspectives, get them on camera. And right now I'm just trying to figure out how to to really implement this right in a way that works in a way that can be the best um creativity that i can give um and ultimately what can help people out there right and so i'm just like ready y'all like towards this second half of 2017 when the weather starts getting you know colder Fall is coming, that's my grind time to even step it up to another hundredth power, right? Because I feel like this is my time to really get this thing going for real. Um, now don't get me wrong, I will not 
forsake the website. This is something that I will always try my best to continue to do. Um, but I also want to take on other projects and it all will be under the umbrella of the brand that I'm building, which is complex simplicity. And, um, so I'm down, I'm so inspired, I'm ready. You know how you're like so, like a kid in a candy store, like where do I start? So right now I'm just trying to, you know, start with some research, some groundwork, um, considering praying about the right people to be um, able to kind of work with. One thing in one of Issa's interviews that I'd watched earlier in the week actually, she said, you know, a lot of times we, we think that we have to align ourselves or, or network or connect with people who've already made it, big time people, right? B and C list um, celebrities and whatnot, public figures. She said when really what's probably going to be more beneficial is you aligning yourself with other people who are trying to work and make it like you are. People who are in kind of in a similar mode and position as you. You're grinding. Nobody really knows who you are. Nobody's really been introduced. The masses haven't been introduced to your art in that way. Those are the people you should be aligning yourself with. So my prayer right now is for God to really show me and, 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 um, bring the right people around for me to kind of work with, you know, let's help each other. You know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, vice versa. Like, let's do this thing together. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that was a great perspective for me to hear because if I'm being honest, I too would be out here trying to DM and reach out to B list, C list, A list celebrities. Hey, I got some shirts I want to send your way just to get my foot in the door for them to even look at my website, right? Who is this chick? What is this complex simplicity? Let me click this link, right? But come on, let's keep it real. A, B and C list people, are they really going to like take the time out? Maybe one, but let me spend more time trying to network and work with people who are grinding just like I'm grinding, right? Um, and let's try to help each other in this thing of entrepreneurship, branding, whatever you want to call it. And so even some of my friends, people around me who I know have specific talents, like I said in a vlog yesterday, one of my girlfriends who said, you know what, verbally, because I'm going to hold you to that, she knows who she is, verbally she said that she, you know, would be down to be a part of my social experiment as it pertains to um, single people in their 30s, you know, trying to um, position themselves in the right place for love to come to them, right? Um, and so I, it's like, Chanel, you have talented friends, people in your life, family members, like, stop always trying to, like, go for the, the celebrities or the public figures out here, like, we can create some dope bomb art with your very the very own people in your camp, you know? Um, and so even with that, I'm praying that things work out, you know, that if we do, and if I am able to work with a few friends and loved ones, that relationships stay intact the way they should be, that we have a good time doing it, that we grow closer working together, and ultimately that we able to make a good coin and change the world, right? Hey, girls got a dream. <laughs> So, um, you know, I just wanted to come on to encourage you out there. I know I'm not the only one trying to figure this career thing out. I know I'm not the only one who's tired of punching the clock and working 9 to 5, 10 to 6, 11 to 7, 12 to 8 type of job, you know, that you're not 100% passionate about, right? It helps to pay the bills somewhat, but I'm at the point in my life where I want to be passionate about my career. I want to feel good about it. I want to be excited about it, you know, and I am relentlessly trying to make this thing happen. Right. So, you know, like I love watching, um, interviews and hearing the backstories of some of my favorite, um, creative, uh, minds and thinkers, public figures and how they started and the things that they had to go through lessons that they've learned. Um, and jewels of wisdom that they're willing to share with us. I love like diving into those moments because I really feel like it's through that that can really inspire one and can help you to get to the next step of where you're trying to go, you know? Um, so let's be in this together, y'all. Um, especially us women, women of color, they say that we can never work together effectively. Um, they say that there's always jealousy and envy that gets in the way. 
let's prove the world wrong. So if I know you, if I don't know you, but you feel like you um, have something to offer the cause or you would love to just network and, 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 and work with others who are trying to grind and, and make their dreams and career goals come true, holla at your girl by um, commenting under this vlog. Let's stop being shy and scared, y'all. You know, let's let's network, okay? This website can also be used to network. There is a tab within this website that says contact. You can feel free to always email me. I'm pretty good with responding to messages it's right away within the same day, more than likely within the same hour. You know, when people comment under YouTube under my videos that I post on this website and the few that do comment on the website, I make it a point um, to, to respond as soon as possible, right? So let, let's continue this dialogue. Let's network together. Let's help each other. Let's build together. Let's be great together. <laughs> um, you know, and let's do the damn thing, right? So I appreciate it. Hopefully this inspires someone. I'm just trying to pass it forward, right? I'm sitting here eating, watching Issa Rae, an Issa Rae interview, and I'm inspired and so excited, like, oh my goodness, oh, I'm ready, right? So I said, let me get on and and and, and pass, pass the, the baton and say, hey, y'all, I'm inspired. Hopefully this inspires you. This is what I got from Issa Rae, one of her interviews back maybe a year or two ago, and let's, you know, Let's keep this this inspiration going. Let's let's empower each other consistently. Like let's do this thing. Thank you for rocking with me. I, I get a sense. I don't always know who are avid um, and loyal readers, listeners, and watchers of Complex Simplicity, but I get a sense that for the past year and change, it's been um, the same loyal ones out there, and I thank you. I don't know why I feel that. I know I get some newcomers. But I feel like the people that hold me down, who check in on this website often, have been rocking with me from day one. And I appreciate you so much. I wish I knew who you were to give you, you know, um, uh, my, my gratitude and thanks, thankfulness by name. Um, but uh, I can't do that. Um, so please just continue to rock with me. Let's do this thing. Continue to head to complexedsimplicity.com. And until next time.